how do you begin a piece? What do you what do you make paintings of? You know, and and it's that blank canvas thing that's so hard to get over, or at least was for me. And um, I think as I've progressed as an artist, I've found that the way I overcome that is to maintain a continuum so that the ball's always rolling. And so as far as inspiration is concerned, I think that um, I'm not all that cognizant of it. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll make something that I'm excited about and then I'll take a little piece of it and think I want to work more with this little idea or this little image and then that will be the next thing I do. And so it kind of, you know, it's a little bit of a leapfrog, snowballing kind of thing that I do in the studio. Um, but there are certainly, you know, other artists whose work I look at that give, may give me ideas, travel, or, you know, seeing something out in nature, or current affairs, or personal things that are going on. Mostly it's unconscious. So usually, you know, it, something will happen in the work and I'll look back at it and go, oh, well that, you know, I made that when this was happening or after I had seen this and I can really see the influence of that in the work. Some of the ideas that I've been working with as I've done these exquisite corpse pieces with other artists um, have been um, issues of ownership and issues of um, like the importance of an object because as artists we can get caught up in this sort of precious object but it's it, it, that takes a different um, that takes on a different feeling when you're working with something that somebody else is also making with you. So I suppose it could either be that the piece becomes even more precious because you value someone else's work more than you value your own, or it could be the other way around. Like, oh, this doesn't really matter. So um, like, like when I've been the person beginning the exquisite corpse drawings, I tend to have a very lackadaisical kind of attitude towards it. Whereas when I receive one in the mail and I'm finishing up what someone else has, has made, it feels really like, oh God, I don't want to screw up this person's artwork. So there's all of those questions in terms of process. And then, um, you know, there are ideas of like what it means to collaborate with another person and, and also the idea of um, the object having a greater significance. 